Where are you going? This is your responsibility. You can't just walk away. The Lombaxes need us! Don't walk away from me! I said stop! Six minutes. There it is. Snus <laughs> Empson is served without being out. Now, I'm scared of the elf. I'm real too. I'm not staying me now. Time isn't going to stand still for forever, Plank. You might want to hurry. Oops. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I've come too far to fail now. General, what are you doing? Correcting a mistake. The Lombaxes are coming home! With or without your help! Alright, well, hi, I'm Game Guide. It's time for Let's Play Ratchet and Clank a crack in time. This is about the one chance I'm gonna have to talk in all this craziness. Try this! Ratchet, look out! General, you have to stop this! You can't change the past! Can't? Ha! Never could let go of consequence, could you? I can't let you get in the way! Ratchet, we cannot let him touch that lever. What lever are we talking about? I don't know. Quick thing, right now, uh, if you die at this point, your ship will be here and you can go back and do whatever. So, eh. Whenever he does that, like, spinning thing, he's blocking all shots, so you might want to stop firing at that point. Uh, all right. On to the next weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry it has to be this way! 
I wanted you here with me. Uh, okay, that's awful nice of you. When he does this spinning around thing, I kind of like to throw these out. And actually, throwing these out is probably not a bad idea. They'll damage him eventually. from our kind have made you weak. Not really. I mean, I I, I I I beat up a dude. Don't throw TVs at me. That's rude. I wanted to break those. Well, how many more buzz blades is it gonna take? Cause I mean, I'm gonna run out soon. Breach detected in actuator station eleven. I thought you were gonna talk about the antimatter thing number eight. Nothing. I I got so worried for a moment. <laughs> he's throwing bombs at me, but he's also just kind of casually running into my bombs. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Chill out, dude. Alright, alright, alright. What do I what do I do here? Oh, Tesla spikes might be fun. Never! Never! Never ever! I should have left in the first place! I should have protected them! Pesky Symphonoid! They were detected by primary stabilization modules. They didn't all escape, did you know that? Hundreds were lost. Tachyon destroyed everything in his path. Well, that was just rude of him. Warning. Quantum and Tachyon. Oh no, not the quantum something. Is out of sync with Rift. Oh no, it's out of sync with something. I was gonna say, are you outright immune to the magnet? You don't seem to take a ton of damage and you aren't stunned for very long. That's not unheard of though, mind you. This has to be done! It's my job to save them! If you say so, guy, you're making this obnoxious because I can't quite reach you when you're just kind of, you know, running around a whole lot. I keep kind of just hoping he'll stop in the, uh, the, the Tesla spikes, but he does not. Actually, in hindsight, putting a cryo mine there might be good. This is our only chance! Chan! It's our only Chan! What does it even mean? You know that! Wait, hold on, hold on. Stop attacking me for a moment? Why are all my bombs pink? What the heck, dude? What have you done? What have you done? Why is the pink taking over? I don't understand. I don't understand, guy. I just don't. Oh, hi, Shockwave, that you suddenly have. Like, I knew he had that, and I was trying to evade it all the past times, but, like, he never did it, so... I don't know. This is working, but it's not doing a lot of damage. But, I mean... This is just, unfortunately, one of those bosses where you just kind of unload all of your ammo at him, and that's it. Have a domino, guy! Oh, you're gonna you're gonna run around now, but I don't have any more Tesla spikes. It's unfortunate. Oh, well, my other cryo mine actually took care of you. Cool. Quantum tumbling initiated. You hear that? In a few moments, we will be able to prevent the greatest injustice in Lombax's history. I can't let you do this. You don't have a choice. So you're just gonna kill me? Kill you now, save you in the past. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Just just putting that out there. Uh, but, I mean, you know how it is. Slow down, dude. <laughs> um, hmm. Are there any weapons I haven't really used yet? I use Fred. Fred might be fun. Fred is super fun. Well, I wanted to... I wanted to cryo mine you a little bit. I want to make you dance a little bit. Probably should bring out Mr. Zircon a little bit. Here, have a single burp. There, I used that that weapon during this fight. <laughs> it's a good thing your father isn't alive to see you like this. 
coward, a traitor. He would have been so ashamed. Time shift success estimated at 43%. Something you should watch out this for. I don't think. Now. Yeah, he's doing it right now. Uh, he's breaking the floor, so there are going to be pitfalls that you can fall into at this point in the fight. Although I do believe at the beginning of this phase there's a checkpoint, so it's not all bad. Watch your footing. Yeah, he even gives you a nice little uh, hint there. I kind of wish the uh, ammo crates would come back. They have not been lately, and I am sad about that. To be perfectly honest with you. For the rest of your life, you'll be alone. Time shift success estimated at 21%. 21%, that sounds good, right? I'm pretty sure that's good. Oh no, he's doing a shockwave again. What a rude butt. Fred, slap him silly. Warning. Fatal errors detected across all temporal processes. Just a few. Now estimated at 7%. Not 7%. That's less than before. Unfortunate. Just just chill out, dude. I I, I think I think we can all agree. <laughs> Warning. Time bombs are actually pretty good at holding this guy in place, I'm not gonna lie. Temporal catastrophe imminent. Shut down all systems imminent. But you're risking everyone else in the process. Who are you even talking to, Ratchet? <coughs> That's a reference! No! What are you doing? Come on! It's not working! Why isn't it working? Because it's not a time machine, Alistair! The clock isn't meant to alter time, only keep it! seconds until total system failure. The trophies are too much! I'm so sorry. No. Let me. What are you gonna do? Take care of yourself, Ratchet. He did a brave thing, Ratchet. You should be proud of him. Well, looks like there's just one more thing to fix. Of course. Timekeeper restored. I'll leave you two alone. Take care of yourself, pal. I cannot stay. I am sorry, but discovering my family has made me realize that I cannot leave Ratchet. Not until he finds his own. I hope you understand. You're leaving? Energy output normal. Harmonic stabilizers stable. Why aren't I freaking out? Perhaps you are ready to be promoted. Senior? Caretaker? Yippee! Thank you, sir. Take care, Sigmund. Clock, much like time itself, is a gift and not to be tampered with. But like any father, 
My only wish is that my son does that which makes him feel whole. You are an intelligent and logical being, Clank. But intelligence and logic would have been wasted gifts without honor and loyalty. I am proud to see you came into those on your own. So, should the clock be too small for your plans, I pray the cosmos light the way towards a future you yourself design. And remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. What would we do without you? Nothing, probably. Let's be perfectly honest here. Oh, man, credits. Wow. <laughs> this, this game has taken a lot longer than I thought it would. Like, most of the Ratchet games I, I've done have been, like, what, 36-ish episodes? And, I mean, we're at, what, I think this is 37? It's 37 or 36, but, like, I you may have noticed I don't have all the gold bolts. I don't have all the skill points. There's a lot of stuff I have to do still. Um, a vast majority of this I can't really get until challenge mode. I mean, not quite, but, um, reasons I'll, I'll get to in a little bit. But, um, uh, first and foremost, I should actually point out, the, uh, the trophies I got during the, uh, end cutscene there... Uh, hold on, someone's snoring. What's, what's this all about? Oh. Crap, wake up, you darn fool! Uh, huh? What? What happened? Wait, hey! Hey, what's with all the words? Those are credits! You fell asleep during the game again! <gasps> Kirimini, you're right! Quick, hit the rewind button! Now, Kronk, these folks worked hard on this game, so you just, you just sit there and appreciate them! Easy for you to say. You still have some semblance of bladder control. All right. <laughs> uh, those trophies were Sheesh. basic. A lot of folks worked on this one, huh? In my day, we did it all with three robots, a spiral notebook, and some wire. Yeah? Well, in my day, we didn't have wire. We used yarn. And our controllers didn't have any of this shoulder button stuff. No, we had two buttons. Two buttons? Huh. I did it with one button and a joystick. Yes, sir. And if the game broke, we couldn't do nothing but blow the dust off and try again. All right, all right. Just, just, well, what's the darn credits? Fine. But after that, it's on to challenge mode. Thanks, Kronk or Zephyr. I actually don't remember which is which by voice alone. <laughs> actually, I don't know if I'd know which is which by appearance either. Yeah, I've, I've never been super clear on that. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, uh, the trophies I got at the end there uh, were based on the difficulty setting I set at the beginning. I don't think I actually showed this on screen or even addressed it. I, I probably should have, but I didn't. Uh, this has been on hard mode the entire time. Uh, to get the, uh, what was it, Q-Force Champion? It was the gold trophy, whatever it was. Um, I had to beat the entire game start to finish on hard mode. You can change the difficulty uh, throughout the game, but it only gives you the trophy associated with the highest difficulty. Actually, no, no, it actually gives you the trophy associated with the lowest difficulty you have ever set it to on that particular run of the game. So if I change it to, like, medium at any point and then change it back to hard, I will not actually get the hard trophy but I'll still get the medium and easy trophy, which is what the other trophies were. They were, they were the medium and easy variety. So, you know that. But yeah, no, I mean, I will say I do love this game a lot, but um, I don't know if I love it as much as I did at the beginning. I mean, don't get me wrong, this game is still fantastic, but just like, 
I don't know, I've, re I've come to realize a lot of the weapons, the, the weapon selection in this game isn't as good as I remembered it being compared to some other games in the series. I'm just, I, I don't know, man. It just, there's so many weapons that immobilize dudes and not a lot of weapons that actually do significant damage. Like, there are some, but most of them are either harder to use than others or, like just rely on getting a ton of hits like i mean the doom blades do a decent amount of damage but they're kind of hard to hit with sometimes and like i mean I, the other problem too is like some of the constructo weapons just get completely outclassed which is unfortunate because they have all these constructo mods and everything i mean it's mostly the constructo pistol because the other two seem to do all right I mean, I didn't have the most damage effective version of the Constructo shotgun, because I certainly could have done better, but I guess we're having a news announcement Good now. Evening, right. I'm Kip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. Planets everywhere rejoiced this morning to find that the strange time phenomenon plaguing the universe had miraculously disappeared. Experts are still theorizing about what could have caused the disturbance, but have reduced the threat level from sunset red to a soothing azure blue. Thanks, Kip. In other news, a giant space station thought to be the lair of the fiendish Dr. Nefarious exploded last night, leaving the Vollards with a ton of salvage work to do. Galactic authorities have yet to recover the remains of Dr. Nefarious or his partner Lawrence. The Polaris Defense Initiative has been mobilized. Uh, okay. <laughs> Apparently everybody's just gonna talk during the credits. Not something I expected, considering I'd like to talk, you know? Um, what was I even saying? Like, I've already forgotten. Because of your silly news broadcast! News, why did you have to ruin everything? I don't understand why you would do that! I think I was talking about weapons or something. I, I don't know. Like... No, I mean, I like a lot of the weapons. You know, the Rift Inducer's great. Uh, they brought back a lot of the great weapons from Tools of Destruction. Uh, I kind of miss the Razor Claws, but I can understand why they might not have come back, because they were fairly impractical to use, despite being pretty cool-looking. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, thinking about it, I think I... Still kind of like up your arsenal just a tiny bit more. I mean, I for a while I wasn't entirely sure, but I, don't know, I, I think I think this has kind of sold me on that a little bit. But I mean, again, don't get me wrong. I I this is easily probably second place. I don't know. I just I don't know. I I like the clank segments. They're neat. You know, the puzzle going along there is pretty cool. I don't believe I've seen a puzzle like it anywhere else, so I mean, that's unique at the very least. Um, because I've always been a fan of the Clank segments, you know? I know some people aren't, and I mean, I don't know, it, it's different, but I've never had a problem with it, I guess. It's, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. Um, actually, something I did want to talk about is uh, Azimuth. Uh, near the beginning of this, I never really cared much for the guy, cause like, he essentially is all like, oh man, I gotta correct this mistake by making an obvious mistake. It, it's, it's just a weird thing. <laughs> um, yes, all the fans and all the stuff and no chimps were harmed in the making of this game. That's good. I'm glad. I didn't get a chance to finish my thought. <laughs> oh well, I I that's par for the course, really. Hello, is anyone out there? Hello, celebrity in need of assistance. <laughs> What's that, Snowball? Little Jimmy fell down a well. Oh, you're hungry for blood. Oh, I was way off. Let me just. Oh boy, this is bad. Uh, little help here. Ratchet, Blank, Elga, anyone? Nice snowball. No nice snowball. Down snowball. Hey, hey, hey! Easy on the goods. Quark's dead. 
<laughs> Again. Oh, I, I guess we're seeing the loading screen for some reason. Hey, uh, Krill Canyon was once the richest Veritanium mine. Carries less impressive reputation now, though. It's frequently invaded. Ratchet space rat! Your path is far from over! For you see, the most horrifying truth has yet to be revealed! My dear Longbax, I am your father. Accountant, did that do it? Did that sufficiently blow your mind? Let that just roll around for a bit. Oh, now. Come, find me in the Corvus Sector, and let us end what we began! Forcelon, out! Hi. Nice of you to show up, I guess. <laughs> so, here we have an option. Uh, we can go back in time before defeating Dr. Nefarious and collect all the stuff, and also beat up Forcelon. Or we could go to challenge mode. I'm going to go back and do this. In case that's not obvious. <laughs> and we have to load again. That That's cool. It's great. I guess to finish my thought about Azimuth, like, I don't know. He's kind of got this whole guilt thing going. He believes what he's doing is right. It's, it's just kind of a weird sort of deal. Oh, yeah. Okay, see... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it wasn't my ship, but this instead? Uh, time portal will go back to Great Clock after you defeated Nefarious. Where does this lead me? Where does this lead me? If it leads me where I think it does, I would like to know. <laughs> We're just getting all the loading screens at the end, apparently. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. Azimuth is a weird character. He's a weird dude. Yeah, okay, alright. I It's not my ship. It, instead, it's just this random teleport. What actually appears here is something that lets me go back to different sections of the Great Clock, which is something I need to do because there's stuff I failed to collect while I was, um, <sighs> clank. There's also an armor or ammo vendor here now. So, um, the LP is officially over. But we got lots to do in extra videos, so next time we're going to somewhere else in the Great Clock and f finishing things up. Asthma, if you just hang out over there, I'm sure you will not touch that lever while I'm gone. I'll see you later and goodbye. I'm sorry, Ratchet. I've come too far to fail now. General, what are you doing? Correcting a mistake. The Lumbaxes are coming home with or without your help. Uh, what? <laughs> what?